Welcome back to the Intuitive Life Coach. This is Angie and I'm coming today with another intuitive message to help you align with your highest self and begin to live the life that you are meant to live. Today, I'm going to talk about intuition and boundaries. If that is something that you would like to learn more about, then stay tuned. Okay, so boundaries. Yikes. First of all, boundaries are amazing, but a lot of people were not taught appropriate boundaries growing up. They maybe struggle with understanding how to set them, how to accept them, or maybe really what they are. I know that for myself, as I deconstructed from my religious background and I healed from deep trauma in my life, I really did not understand what boundaries were. I know that a lot of my relationships struggle because of this, and there was a lot of shame around that. The fact that I hadn't been taught something and I didn't know how to do that in my relationships. But as you heal, you begin to understand that it's not necessarily something to be ashamed about. It's simply the fact that you have not been taught. However, as you begin to heal, if you are going through any kind of a healing process or an awakening, or you are learning more about yourself and you're learning more about intuition and, and how to have healthy boundaries and how to have healthy relationships, boundaries are important. And here's why. It's because it allows you to stay in your energy and it allows others to stay in their energy. What we don't see energetically is how people pull from each other's energy. And when you are in a lack or when you are um, struggling in any kind of way, it's a natural thing for you want to want to get validation or to have something help you fill yourself up. And so this can cause us to kind of put pressure on relationships in our life to fill a void that maybe we don't even know that we're trying to fill. Particularly in romantic or friendships, we repeat the same cycles in those relationships as we do, as we were taught in our childhood relationships with our parents and growing up. And the interesting thing is as we begin to develop the boundary and we learn how to have boundaries in our life, they start to feel a little bit more easy and familiar and we can trust that we are making good choices. However, this is hard. (laughs) It can be very hard as you begin to make this part of your practice and relationships because it can bring up a trauma response in your body. And this is why I want to teach you about intuition when you begin this process of moving through these trauma responses and trusting that what you're doing is not harming anyone or yourself. Because what happens is your body and your old programming is going to automatically want to stop it. It's going to bring up all the scenarios, all the fear, all the things that maybe your inner child felt at the time and try to protect you. So your ego has all that stored energy in it because it was programmed in it. But as you begin to deconstruct and heal that ego in those parts, All that fear that you have can begin to lessen and you can start to hear your intuition more. Now, how do you know if your intuition or you're just making a choice that maybe is not aligned with the highest good of yourself or other people? Here's one thing that you can pay attention to. Does your relationship with anybody cause you to want to be in a higher energy of frequency, or do you feel like you have to lower your frequency? And if you don't understand frequency, I believe I had posted another video um, about energy, and I will share a little bit more on another video 
about the energy and frequency changes because what happens when you are growing, when you are enhancing and you are releasing old parts of yourself and you are coming into a new understanding of who you are, your frequency increases. And this is why you hear in this spiritual community all the time, the frequency, my frequency is increasing, ascension, um, all these things are happening and it's true, but it's not necessarily about the actual frequency. It's about our body, our physical human ego body, allowing itself to merge into and connect with our highest self, which is our spirit. Our spirit is eternal. We are eternal beings. We are, our spirit's immortal. Our body is not immortal. So our body's energy and frequency is a much lower, um, I guess, a frequency than our spirit. So there are, and this is why people talk about ascension, um, like symptoms in your body. You may feel sick, you may feel drained, you may feel, feel tired. So those who go on a really deep healing journey usually feel exhausted because you have been running on a really low frequency. And when you are constantly pulling from that low energy, it takes a ton of work to keep yourself going. But when you start to increase and your body ego starts to enhance in a way where you um, start to merge your spirit and um, go and listen to my video about how to, you're listening to your, or hearing your spirit guides, I think. Our, we're going to have levels, like where our spirit is always going to be a little bit higher than our ego. Our, our ego, I mean, I, I'm sure that probably ascended masters are able to kind of merge it on an equal level, like maybe Jesus and Buddha, Buddha and, they, and people like that. Um, but that's not what our goal is. Our goal is to continue to increase and increase and increase. And that goes back to um, even what Jesus was uh, teaching about. I must decrease and um, he, God, the universe energy should increase. But we will feel that energy shift in our body too. So you have to really allow yourself to uh be in a safe space where you can rest as you make these decisions. So making the decision of setting a boundary is evaluating whether this energetic connection is enhancing you or pulling you down. And I will say you will be able to know if you stop and listen to your body. And I will give you an example. (laughs) I have been on a healing journey for a long time and I have known my energy is increasing. I've known that I have changed and it can be triggering to people that are not doing that. And there's nothing wrong with them. It's they're not bad people. They're not wrong. It's just simply where they are. And sometimes in this lifetime, as they are living this human life, they're not meant to ascend. So this is why sometimes we have to let people go because they're not supposed to go on the journey with us as we continue to move forward. And it's not that we don't love them. It's not that we don't care. It's simply the fact that we know that our, our spirit has a mission on this life that we are meant to accomplish. And so the more we trust that, and we don't look at endings or separation or, um, having boundaries between us and somebody as a loss is simply an an ascension because actually what can happen is when you ascend, you allow them to ascend because if you're not both ascending, you're going to be on the same level where you're just supporting each other to stay there. But when you take that step, it brings permission for them to take a step. And so you just keep, um, moving forward. Now somebody else may take a step for you so that you can move forward. And that is their role in your life to help you expand in your energy and and grow and heal the what you need to heal. But you may be that for other people too. So when you start to feel out, like it feels hard to be 
at a high energy or, and it doesn't mean you're always happy. It doesn't, this has nothing to do with like feeling good, um, in a, like a happy place or joy. Like it, it simply means you notice that it's almost like when you have a child, you're not going to go and talk to a child the way that you talk to another adult. It's the same in relationship. Maybe in this relationship, you did a lot of gossiping. Maybe in this relationship, you drank a lot. Maybe in this relationship, um, you both were growing, but then they got stagnant and you feel called to keep going. And you'll feel that energetic pull of like, this is not aligned anymore. And I give you grace and love as you trust this and allow yourself to release and know that once you do, you will grow and you will enhance in your frequency and that you will be able to continue to move forward in the goals that you have. And it may be possible if you're feeling stuck in any way right now, that it is because you keep trying to hold on to old energy that, that cannot go with you or is no longer aligned. And this is not just romantic or friendships as well. It could be family relationships. And this makes it really, really hard. And I will do a whole nother episode on that particular part of it um, another time. But in this time, my encouragement for you is to begin to pay attention to how your energy shifts based on a relationship in your life. And if it's increasing your energy or you're having to lower your energy to meet them on that level. And again, it's nothing against another human, another spirit, because we have to remember everybody comes, every spirit comes to earth with an assignment. Their assignment is to expand and grow within their spirit. And they use the human life to do that. So it's not the fact that you are you will actually never lose these relationships. They are eternal just like you. So what you will reconnect when you transition. And also keep in mind that many of the souls around you likely have been a part of your life and past lives too. So you are probably going to reconnect with them again in a different way. And that's a beautiful thing to think about. If you are in a place where you are seeking support to grow, heal, maybe learn how to do this a little bit more, I am offering a three-month intuitive alchemy course where I teach you all the ins and outs about your frequency, your energy, intuition, how if you are trying to start a business, whatever it is that you are trying to grow and enhance in your life. I will support you through that. And if you are ready to jump in, you are welcome to set up a free call with me if you would like to, or you can just get on my website and go ahead and join it and we can start working on it. Why wait? So I'm going to wish you all the best day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. I send you all the universal love that there is. Namaste.